Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 24, Electric Potentials, Halliday uh, Resnick Walker, Edition 10. Question number 2, question number 2, not problem 2, it's question number 2. Figure shows three sets of cross sections of equipotential uh, surfaces in uniform uh, electric fields. All three uniform electric fields are there. All three cover the same size uh, region of space. The electric potential is indicated for each equipotential surface. Part 1. Rank the arrangements according to the magnitude of electric field present in the region greatest first. Uh, part B. In which is the electric field directed uh, down the page? In this case, down the screen. Okay. So, uh, field and equipotential uh, uh, field and uh, potential are related by this equation uh, you want x component of the field it is equal to minus partial v by partial x which is partial differentiation of potential with respect to x y component of the field is minus partial v by partial y and z component of the field is minus partial v by partial z okay minus partial v by partial z uh, we are dealing only with one component here, one component of the field. Uh, field will be either upward or downward. So, either upward or downward. So, only one component of the field. So, I will only talk about one component. Let us call it y component. Ey is equal to minus partial v by partial y. We will soon discuss it. Uh, field is either upward or downward. Okay, that is it. These are the only two options. Uh, since field is uniform, Okay, since field is, you know, that is explicitly mentioned in the question, even if it were not mentioned in the question from the knowledge of equipotential surfaces, you should know, this should be known to you, that if equipotential surfaces are parallel planes, then field is uniform. Okay, in case equipotential surfaces are parallel planes, then field is uniform. So, from the diagram, we could have uh, understood that field is uniform. Anyways, that is explicitly mentioned. If field is uniform, then instantaneous field and average field is same. So, I can write average field as uh, minus delta V by delta Y or magnitude, if we talk only about the magnitude, is delta V divided by delta Y. We will talk about direction in a while. So, this is magnitude of the field, delta V divided by delta Y. Delta V will be potential difference and delta Y is distance. In this case, we can take potential difference between two successive equipotential surfaces. And delta Y, we can take distance between two successive equipotential surfaces. Okay, I will repeat. Delta Y is potential difference between two successive equipotential surfaces. We are taking it between two successive. You can take between any two uh, points. Uh, uh, a potential difference between uh, two successive equipotential surfaces and delta y we are taking distance between two successive equipotential surfaces. Now part 1 tells us to rank these three situations 1, 2 and 3 according to the uh, according to the magnitude of the electric field okay according to the magnitude of the electric field. Now uh, if we look at it again uh, look at situation 1 okay look at situation 1 potential difference between two successive equipotential surfaces between these two surfaces is 40 minus 20 is 20 volts so delta v is 20 volts delta v is 20 volts here again delta v is 20 volts here again 20 volts here again 20 volts here is also 20 volts minus 120 volts minus 140 volts difference is 20 volts here again it is 20 volts So, potential difference between two successive equipotential surfaces is 20 volts in all the three cases. Okay, is 20 volts in all the three cases. So, our field magnitude is delta V divided by delta Y. So, delta V is same in all the three cases. Okay, delta V is same in all the three cases. What about delta Y? Distance between these two surfaces is smaller. And distance between these two surfaces is larger compared to 1. Distance between these two equipotential surfaces is again larger compared to but 1, but same as that of 2. So, delta y, since uh, delta V is same, so we can write 
electric field is inversely proportional to delta y distance between two successive equipotential surfaces so uh, field will be greatest where delta v is smallest so field is greatest in this case because delta v is uh, delta y is smaller distance between two successive equipotential surfaces is the least there so e1 is greatest greater than 2 and 3 but 2 and 3 distance between two successive equipotential surfaces is same so their fields are also same so their fields are also same so e2 is equal to e3 2 and 3 for 2 and 3 delta y is same so field will be same but less than 1 because in case of 1 delta y is smaller so field will be larger so this is the ranking of the electric field for the three situations e1 is greater than e2 is greater than e3 uh, if you are aware of this and i guess uh, you must be aware of this uh, for drawing the equipotential surfaces uh, for drawing the equipotential surfaces we follow the convention okay so this is just the convention we follow the convention that potential difference between successive equipotential surfaces should be same potential difference between two successive equipotential surfaces should be same 20 volts here 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 now keeping that in mind if you follow that convention then electric field strength is directly proportional to equipotential surface density it's exactly the same what we do with electric field lines electric field strength is directly proportional to field line density it's exactly the same here electric field strength electric field intensity is directly proportional to equipotential surface density denser the equipotential surfaces greater is the magnitude of the field lesser density of the equipotential surfaces lesser is the magnitude of the electric field so in this case density is greatest in one so field is greatest in one then densities of two and three are same densities of equipotential surfaces in case of two and three are same so fields in case of field intensities in case of two and three are same is it fine okay then uh, in part b we're asked you to uh, identify the situation where electric field is down the page in this case down the screen so what about the direction of electric field <coughs> direction of field is always in the direction of decreasing potential okay decreasing potential remember potential always decreases in the direction of field okay potential decreases in the direction of field so direction of field is always in the direction of decreasing potential and is always perpendicular to equipotential surface always perpendicular to equipotential surfaces so what about uh, direction of field in our cases perpendicular to equipotential surfaces is either upward or downward here again perpendicular to equipotential surfaces either upward or downward here again perpendicular to equipotential surfaces either upward or downward now in the direction of decreasing potential decreasing potential potential is decreasing upward 100 to 80 to 60 to 40 to 20 so potential is decreasing as you go upward so field must be upward this is the direction of the field in case of one potential is decreasing again upward minus 100 then minus 120 which is less then minus 140 which is again lesser okay more negative so lesser so field is again upward in case of 3 potential is decreasing as you move down minus 10 to minus 30 so it is lesser minus 30 to minus 50 so it is lesser so field is decreasing in the downward potential is decreasing in the downward direction so field must be downward we were asked you to find out identify the situation in which electric field is down the page down the screen so that is situation 3 okay that is situation 3 is that fine that'll do for this session